Dave Gardy here on the floor of the Software Information Industry Summit with the SIAA, Software Information Industry Association here in New York. With me is Heather Stevens, who's the Director of Product Management for Content Analysts, which is attracting a lot of attention here at the show. Heather, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Give us an idea of a little run through of the demo that you're going to do tomorrow, I understand, uh, so we can get a perspective and record it of the CAT Definer. Okay, well CAT, defi or CAT itself facilitates concept-aware, example-based categorization. Um, what that means is, is that you can add some examples in order to facilitate categorization of content rather than creating um, really complex rule, Boolean search rules or manually tagging data. Um, so what the biggest, um, like the biggest hurdle over that type of categorization is finding the right examples. And so we build a tool that allows you to find the right examples to help categorize your data. Okay, I get it. So information companies here with all that unstructured content might be looking for better ways to organize it, and this helps them do that? Yes. Okay. Now, um, and, and, and does it need any special computer hardware to run it? Um, no, actually I have this running on my laptop, so it needs to, you can, it's a browser-based tool. Um, CAT needs to be running somewhere in the background. Um, well, actually, y you don't necessarily need to be connected to CAT, but to get the, to the full, the full um, experience you do need to be connected to cat but any browser will work so you can show me right now how it works correct correct okay let's try it okay um, so this is sort of a, a gray screen that we or a, a white label screen that we do because you can add your own logo you can see that I added mine um, we have this concept of a project um, so I'm just going to go into a project and a project is essentially a taxonomy um, so I've actually created a taxonomy for Wikipedia data. I've broken it up into um, various categories. So sports, technology, um, arts, people, places. So if I, I've only actually added, um, added content to uh, a few categories. So I'm going to go into the drama category. And you can see I already have documents in here. So this is, sort of, this is my tru a truth set of documents. So you already probably have pre-categorized documents. We're taking those documents and then identifying what good examples are against that truth set. Very cool. So, sh so it's telling you how good these examples are based on their conceptual similarity. Correct. So I can either create examples on the fly. Um, and I'm just going to add a freeform example here to show you how our concept-aware um, engine works. So um, I actually entered an example called keyword. So I only entered um, the word movie. Um, and it's just going to show you how cat works different than a, a, a Boolean search. Um, so what, what this diagram is showing me is the blue documents are the documents that I've said belong in the drama category, and the gray bars are the documents that I say belong, don't belong in the drama category. They belong in all these other categories. That's amazing. It's doing that without any dictionaries, word libraries, or anything like that, right? Correct. So um, you can see b by that one example, I've moved these documents over into the category. So this gray line indicates what's in the category and what's out of the category. Um, so if I go into one of these um, categories and see the documents that it's, uh, it's looking at, you can see um, it pulled that, you know, that one word pulled in um, all of these documents. Uh, if I go into one of them, like this one, you can see it's about Lenny the film. And if I actually do a, if I do a control F and I search for the word movie, that word is actually not in this document. So it, so Cat knows that film is like movie without me actually telling it that film is like movie. Now that's incredible. So if we're using a keyword search, such as a Boolean or other search method based on the keyword movie, this would not come up at all. Correct. It would never come up. And so what I can do now is I, I have this um, particular document. I can actually highlight the document, um, select it all, and use that as an example and see if it pulls more documents into my category. Oh, and you can see that it did. It pulled a lot of documents into that category just by using that, the whole concept of that document, um, moving stuff into the drama category. So Cat Definer can recognize conceptually that this content is about a movie, but it includes it in the search results, correct? Correct. So that's essentially it. So what you know, what Cat is doing is, um, you would use Cat to identify what makes good examples, and you can see that that particular document did make a good example. Um, but what may not make a good example, I've actually um, come across this um, 
the document on John Wayne doesn't make a good example for movies, and it's because it brings in a lot of stuff about Orange County because of John Wayne Airport. So um, you can sort of play around with your with your documents to see what makes the makes good examples. And in in the case of the Wikipedia data set, you only need a handful of, of examples to um, to do good categorization. There may be other data sets where you would need a few hundred. Got it. So now you have a very pure and clean set of example documents that accurately represent the category movie. What do you do with these now? So once you have once you have all of these, you can see that um, this category is actually performing pretty well. So once you have all your categories green lighted, then you would take these examples and then run them against the rest of your corpus of documents, and then CAT would categorize everything as as either if you already if you have an existing corpus of documents, it would categorize that, or if you had information or document streaming in, then it, you could use these examples to categorize any information that's coming in. And they would just do this for each category one time and that's it? Um, essentially one time. You may, as, you know, as concepts change, you know, like especially with so social media and things like that, you may need to retrain it every once in a while, but this is really, um, it's, it's really this easy to train CAT. Excellent. Well, that's fascinating. I know a lot of people are going to be interested in seeing this uh, at the demo tomorrow here at the Software Industry Information Summit at SIAA's event. Uh, thank you for joining us, Heather Stevens, who's the Director of Product Management. I'm Dave Garda here on the floor. Stay tuned for more.